Hello all. So I got this new uh, Android TV box. It's called the Mi Cool, cool KM2. And uh, it, it's just a little Android TV box you could hook up to your TV to play media uh, or anything else. And I'm going to go through, I'm just going to give an overview of it and my own thoughts on it and quick uh, basic review. Let's go ahead. This is the box right here. Let's go ahead and see what's on here. And it's got get all the top apps, games on Google Play. Uh, I'm not seeing the stats on it, but I could read them off over here. It's um, it's got a, it's got a Android 10. Uh, it's using the Amy Logic S905 X2 CPU. Uh, a GPU. It's using ARM G31 MP2. It's got two gigabytes of DDR4. And it's got a uh, eight gigabyte of uh, internal memory or storage space, Bluetooth 4.2, 10 100 uh, Ethernet, uh, dual band Wi Fi, so it's 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. It's a uh, certified Google, it's got DR DRM support for uh, Microsoft Play Ready Google Widevine L1, and HDCP support for 2.3. So uh, the CPU is actually not too bad. The, the, the S905s were kind of like a, originally came out around 2017, 2018, but this is a dual core S905. So if you had any of those original ones, it's going to be, I guess technically it'd be twice as fast. But um, I would have to look at the stats on that to be completely positive. But it's X905 X2, so... It's got two of those running in this box. You can't you can't get better uh, better ones. There's like the X X S nine O five X four, which has got four of them on here. And then of course you got a lot of other processors like the S nine one twelve, and uh, so on. So this is one of the uh, I'd say low to mid range boxes. It's not going to be super super fast, but it will play media. You know, it will play HD and things like that, or it should. And uh, Me Cool is one of the more better brands, so uh, that's why I'm going to do a quick overview and review of it. And one of the reasons I got I got it for. It. So if you're looking for something that's like really high end, you know, there's, there's, there'll be better boxes. But if you're just looking for something to play, you know, uh, uh, just basic media from like uh, Netflix. Hopefully, you could play Netflix. It, it's supposed to. It's got the um, Google certified, so I don't know. I'd, I'd have to test that out to be sure. But um, you know, if you just want to play basic videos or whatever, then it'll probably, hopefully, it's a good box to get. I still got to test it out. So this is the box right here, and got a big Me Cool logo on it. It's got a little um, uh, LED or display on the front right here, and over here on the back, what do we got? We got power, the power input. We got Ethernet, we got HDMI, we got audio video, we got SD, SPDIF, and we got a little infrared uh, thing right there. And coming over here on the side, we got a little SD card slot, a TF card slot for an SD card. That'll help you expand memory if you got a lot of like videos or something you want to put on there. And we got two USB, so you got one and two and that's basically it with the box it also comes with a remote control which is real nice it's a nice little layout compared to like other ones you got some quick access buttons right here you got netflix you got youtube you got amazon prime uh google play and uh little nice up and down buttons got a roller And uh, that would be for Google. I want to call for Google Assistant. Uh, so it's a nice little remote compared to most remotes. If you if you see like other Android TV boxes or even like the Fire TV Stick, here's a Fire TV Stick remote. Um, they're okay too, but this one's got, got a nice little quick connect, a little better than than normal and average remote controls. So that's pretty cool. So that's those. And then it also is going to come with an HDMI cable to hook up to the TV and, of course, a power adapter. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this in to uh, this TV right here and uh, do a few uh, quick overview of it and some basic functions. And I'll be right back. 
Okay, so I'm back and I got it plugged in and it's all booted up. I got it connected to the Wi-Fi. So let me go ahead and go over here to, uh, this is the main screen, the main launch screen that's going to come up when, and it's the main new Google screen. So it might be familiar to you. It's also very similar to uh, the Fire TV stick. The way you, you move around here, you got up here at the top, you got search, home, discovery, apps. So let me go ahead and switch over here a little bit. We go ahead. If you do a search, then uh, you build the search the Google Play Store and uh, come on over. What's this right here? We got click to type so you can type it in or you can speak. Uh, we've got home, we got discover. Set up personalized recommendations. And then we come over and we'll have apps. And quite often the Google uh, uh, Play that comes on these Android TV boxes is an official one, but it'll, it'll limit the apps that you would have on like an Android phone or whatever because it, it's built to, to run on these uh, Android TV boxes. So you'll be able to install the main apps, which is maybe mainly uh, like, uh, you know, like a um, movie and TV show or video apps like Pluto TV, you know, that's free. Of course, these are paid HBO Max, Disney, uh, Tubi TV, that would be a free one. So if you want to install that, then that'd be, that'd be a pretty cool one to get. It's got a lot of, uh, cool TV shows and movies on there, but, um, uh, this is where you would come to install the apps that you wanted. So like if I was going to install Tubi, just go and click on it and install. I, of course, uh, signed in to my Amazon, uh, or my Google account, which is what you need to do to be able to, before you can do this, which is quick and easy to do. Just a Google Gmail username, password, anyone at work. Okay, so it's installing. And Tubi TV is completely free and legal, so there's nothing, nothing wrong with having this on there. It's got a lot. We got a lot of older movies and TV shows, but uh, it's nothing like real new. But it it is pretty surprising what they can have in there sometimes. If you ever get bored, you can always like check it out and to see what's going on with that. So I installed that one. Right, let's go ahead and go back to home. And go ahead and scroll down here and show you what else we got. So we got we got Prime Video, which is coming installed automatically. YouTube, which is really cool. This is a really cool box. If you got kids, you could play a lot of YouTube uh, uh, kids shows and things like that to keep them busy, which is pretty cool. And of course, you could customize your home screen. And so. Let me go ahead and come over to the top here again and go over to settings. And this is where you connect your Wi-Fi, which I already did. The device preferences. You go into about here. System update, device name, factory reset. Go back. You can set the keyboard type, sound, storage. We go into storage. So right now I'm using up because uh, uh, this is supposed to come with eight gigabytes, which it never fully hits. But you you can add an SD card if you wanted to. I got two point five gigabytes of apps installed. Uh, so while it's not a huge amount, the main thing you're going to do with this box is stream. But if you do want to add uh, more storage space, and right here on the side, it's going to have a SD card slot. So you can uh, expand this. And what I'm reading here, it says 32 gigabyte, I guess. Be sure to double check before you buy any box. But what I'm reading here on Amazon over here, it's saying it's, that's expandable by 32 more gigabyte which could add you more space if you wanted to. Um, like I said, this will mainly be for streaming, so most people won't focus on that. But if you do need it, that could be nice to have. So that's that's device storage. Uh, there's a Google Assistant, which is what you know you could talk to. 
and it'll do things. Chromecast, so you can you can put you could play like your Android phone or something, could connect to it, and you can mirror the screen, which is pretty nice. Screensaver, location, usage and diagnostics, accessibility. I guess I go into advanced options here, see what they got. And we have display, HDMI CEC, audio output, and Netflix ESN. Usage and diagnostics. I can just turn that off. That's just for uh, the box so they get information on that, it looks like. Uh, accessibility. We have captions, high contrast text, text to speech, accessibility shortcuts, talk back, switch access. And reboot. So that's very cool. Um, I guess I could try to do the Chromecast. Let me go and see here. Chromecast. Let me come back out. Okay, so I got this old Galaxy S8, and I'm just gonna screen mirror the phone with Chromecast going over to here. So to do that on these. Uh, on most of these, they, they sometimes they can be a little different, but you, you just scroll down from the top twice, like that. Let me do that again. Let's go one, two, like that. And we need to find like Smart View, which is right there on this. Some, some of them will say something a little different, but on these Galaxy phones, they, they say Smart View. I'm going to go and click on that. And this one right here is called, uh, I have this one as Bedroom TV. So let me go ahead and click on that. And there it is. If uh, if you want to go full uh, full screen, since these can just go like so that, if you take it and you turn it sideways, they usually go full screen. I think I got to open up a, like a browser or something. Let me see here. Yeah, let me open up a browser. I'm just going to type in like news or something. And let me go ahead and flip it sideways. So, say if you hold it sideways, then it'll go full screen. And you'll be able to do a full screen. So you, you can actually like play a movie or video or just, you know, screencasts can be, uh, or Chromecast can be pretty good thing. I'm actually like clicking on stuff over here with this. But that's basically how you use Chromecast and screen mirror to there with, with this, which is very cool to have built in. And let me go and turn that off. and turn it off and we're back to the main screen. So that's very cool, uh, the Chromecast works very good. Uh, it's called Smart View and on the Galaxy phone, might be something different on your phone, so you just have to Google it, but it should be in there. Uh, most new phones are have that capability. But, so that works very good. Um, what else could I show you on this? Okay, just to give you some uh, benchmarks, I'm on uh, uh, wiretheshack.org. And uh, it's showing that uh, it tested the Wi-Fi speed and it gave the results 67 megabytes per second download and 11 megabytes per second upload, which isn't like the super greatest, but but considering you need like 25 megabytes per second download for like HD 1080p, then that's actually not, not too bad. I mean, that'll work. Um, you can, of course, always hook up an Ethernet connection if you can't get good Wi-Fi. Playing uh, some 4K videos at 4K at 60 frames per second. So it played 4K at 60 frames per second. Played Asphalt 8. And Geekbench 4, I gave it a score of 786 single core to 2070 multi-core. And so I just wanted to give you some quick uh, benchmarks of uh, what, it's, what it came up with on some other, uh, on some websites here. Okay, and so that that's basically it, and and a 
my overview and review of this Encool KM2. I think it's a pretty cool little box. I have no problems playing, doing what I want to do on it. Uh, I'm not going to say it's like the top end box. If you want, if you're a big gamer or anything like that, you obviously want to go with like Nvidia Shield or something like that. But if you just want to play like videos and uh, and uh, just like YouTube or uh, you know any, any of these other things, then then it's a pretty good little just basic cheap or low cost box that you can get. And uh, I can't think of anything else really to go over right now. But if you if you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them below. But uh, that's basically it. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.